Hey guys, this is Larry with Packmaster Dog Training. Uh, haven't been making many videos, so I figured I'd do something a little, a little different here. Uh, I'm with Luca, my two-year-old Malinois. He's a little banged up right now, and I'm waiting uh, to get him some x-rays. He hurt both his back legs, so I've had a switch training up, and we haven't been doing much. He's been resting a lot, and I can't do much toy work or let him run too much, so I figured um, I had a lot of requests for some e-collar work, so I'm going to do a little something different here. I'm just going to do some real simple position stuff with the e-collar, and what I want you to do is I want you to pay attention to the dog, and I'm going to use the e-collar a couple different ways here. For one, I'm going to use the continuous button before I give a command. The other way I'm going to use it, I'm going to use the continuous button as a tap after the command, and there's going to be certain commands I give without any use of the e-collar at all. But my whole purpose here is I want you to watch the dog real closely and see if you could figure out when I'm using the e-collar. Okay, lately I've been, I've been watching a lot of videos and you guys have been sending me videos to kind of pick these e-collar videos apart. You have to remember, this tool is just an extension of yourself. Okay, so when I see people walking around like this and they're giving the dog the commands and you're like this, it's almost like you're using it like a, like a TV remote and you're trying to change channels. It doesn't work like that, okay? For one, when the dog sees you operating like this, he's still going to pay attention to your body language more than anything. For me, this is a tense position. This is telling the dog, watch here, and if you don't do what I say, then I'm going to use the e-collar. That's not how I use it, okay? Everything's got to be here, relaxed. Nothing should be different, just like with the leash. The e-collar should just be there as an extension of you, and it shouldn't have any factor in how the dog reacts or doesn't react. So let's just do a little test here. I'll just do it for a couple minutes and you see if you could uh, pick out when I'm using it, when I'm not using it, okay? All right? Okay. Oh, by the way, Luca, you guys know how high energy, high drive Luca is. I want you to look at the number right there. Can you see that, Sophia? Mm -hmm. That's a number six on the e-collar technologies mini 300 goes up to a hundred so when i hear people talking their dogs are so high drive look this is a high drive dog as you'll ever find pretty much and that's how low single digits and i could even go a little lower with him all right so let's see how he how he responds here okay look at you good good All right, so you guys pay attention and tell me. You'll hear me give the commands. You go watch Luca, Sophia, and uh, I'm going to just give the commands, and you tell me if you know when I'm using the e-collar or not, okay? Luca, sit. Down. Sit. Stand. Down. Stand. Reverse. Down. Come, sit, down, stand, reverse, down, down, sit, stand, down, heel. Oh, <laughs> now that, that's a flip into a heel. <laughs> you almost knocked me over, buddy. Stand, down, stand, down, sit, free dog. All right, you see that, guys? Just the real simple stuff, nothing fancy. But I want you to dissect the video, watch it in slow motion, and uh, watch it over and over again and see if you can pick out when I'm using the e-collar. Okay, I was using it just about every command in one way or the other. All right. I think there will maybe be one time where you'll be able to realize when I was using the e-collar. And that's what it's supposed to be. He shouldn't look any different. Let's do a little something different here. Now I'm going to put the e-collar away. Come here, Luca. So now we have no e-collar. Okay? Don't step on it, babe. Luca.
Heel. Good. Good boy. Lucas, sit. Down. Stand. Stand. Down. Sit. Stand. Reverse. Down. Quiet. Good quiet. Sit. Sit. Stand. Free dog. So what you notice there? No difference. He's supposed to look the same whether he has an e-collar on or not. Period. Okay? That's what you get when you condition the dog properly and you're not using it to correct and punish. Okay? Condition, condition, condition. Teach him what it means. Then you can get rid of the remote control style. Remember, he's not a TV. He's just an extension of you. Just like if you were walking him on a leash. Listen, if you're walking your dog on a leash and you're here, I'm sorry, but there's tension there. No matter what you think, this just isn't natural. It should be here. It should feel like you don't have a dog with you. To really enjoy your dog and have that full connection, it should feel like he's not even with you. You're just experiencing each other and enjoying each other. So I hope this helps a little bit. Again, go back, watch the video, and see if you could figure out when I'm using the e-collar and when I'm not. And then post your comments, good or bad, whatever you want to tell me. And uh, again, super low levels. Number six on the uh, e-collar technologies uh, mini there. All right, so I hope this helps. Thanks.